you must understand foundation there are many of you now who are looking at me who understand what i'm saying you know that what fought your father is what is fighting you you are aware you know you are a man of god you try to cover up but you know that is what is fighting you there are altars that are contending there are mountains that are resisting am i speaking to somebody right now but in the name that's above every name in the next couple of minutes when we begin to pray i decree upon your life the bible said no man enters a strong man's house without first binding the strong man and then spoiling his goods by the power of god we are entering the strong man's house we are entering the strong woman's house the strong man in your family the strong man in your family that evil uncle that witchcraft auntie they aspire right now they aspire right now they aspire right now somebody shot fire fire somebody shot fire 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 see come it by hearing hear it by the word of God. And no shadow of doubt, as you hear this video, your faith will be lifted to another level. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. Watch the full video. Let's do this one. He said, which of you intending, bring up the scripture, to build a tower, seated not down first, counted the cost, whether he had sufficient to finish it go on go on go on go on less happy after you had laid foundation sir if you must finish well you must understand the mystery of foundation am i speaking to somebody the hands of zerubbabel has laid the foundation of this house and his hands shall also finish it nobody can finish until foundation is understood in matthew chapter 7 from verse 24 the bible says he that hear these saints of mine and doeth them is like a man that built his house upon the rock the wind came the storm came and the house was standing why was the hand standing because the foundation was handled we are in africa we are believers but i must make you understand something there are so many of us who are contended because of our foundation of background there are so many of us who are struggling because of our foundation of background there are many pastors their father could not build the house their, their grandfather could not build the house their great grandfather could not build the house they now cannot build the church because there is a foundation that said nobody can lay a block nobody can raise up a building there are some of them is the matters of marriage nobody can keep a home now this man is anointed but his home is shaking the wife looks at him he looks at the wife they can't understand where the battle is coming from because there's a foundation that is speaking the father was poor the grandfather was poor the great grandfather was poor now they are going through poverty too because there's a foundation that is speaking thank god for minister without blemish march 2024 i make a declaration on your life every evil pattern evil foundation it shall be shattered If I begin to tell you, I have seen men crushed by foundational altars. Sir, if you are doing best among your peers, get ready for battle. If now, in some of you, it's ministry that even gave you coloration. So you are, you are being lifted above your peers. Get ready for battle. Because altars are angry when you cross the line. Altars are angry when you cross the line. There are people who have crossed certain lines. So there are multiple battles all around them. They look at their elder brothers. Your elder brother now feed from you. Your elder sister now depend on you. Your elder uncles and aunties now depend on you. Because there are altars of resistance. Something is standing to stop them. By the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Today. Such evil altars are shattered. Such evil altars are shattered. Such altars are shattered. Such altars are shattered. Barasa de Koba Benesukapa. There are altars. There are so many of us. We have prayed, we have fasted. 
but there is a foundational yoke that says we can't cross the line they have put a line they say cannot be crossed they have put an order an injunction do you know there are pastors who have been in ministry for 10 years 15 years their father's shrine shrine is still waiting for them that they must come and serve a shrine and come and be some some diabolic priest in the shrine some some priestess in the shrine i want to ask you as a pastor i'm sorry let me ask you when you were born where did they dedicate you there are some people a family i dedicated last sunday in their 40s the mama is in her 70s i had to dedicate them again where did they dedicate you be conscious about it i had to drag them to the altar i said i want to rededicate you people some of you are looking at me i'm sorry to say where they dedicated you was a diabolic house in quote a spiritual house that they call the house of a prophet where were you dedicated there are altars that are crying look at moses i don't think you had the kind of connectivity moses had moses came down from the mountain and his face was shining he needed a veil that's the kind of connectivity god said whether there be a prophet i speak to him in the dream he said but my servant moses is not so i speak to him mouth to mouth face to face yet others fought moses because moses came from the tribe of Levi. And the tribe of Levi, nobody assesses Israel. The tribe of Levi, there was anger running the DNA. Moses was the anyone who tells you Moses had temper issues is a liar. Moses was the meekest man on the face of the earth. Meekness and anger have no coloration. So Moses was a man that was meek. But when God says, Speak to the rock, the anger in Levi, the anger in his great grandfather, the anger in his ancestry reacted. The anger exodus 2 1 and 2 a man from the house of levi married a woman from the house of so moses was from the background of the levite and don't forget what jacob said about them genesis 49 he says simeon and levi are habitants of cruelty he said my soul come not in their anger they shall not be joined together in jacob they shall not get a portion in israel so that was why moses didn't get a portion in israel in, in genesis 49 19 eh, one day jacob looked he said god a troop shall overcome you. What's a troop? A legion shall overcome you. But you shall overcome at the last. Genesis 49, 19. He spoke to God. Mark chapter 5, verse 1. A man in the descendant of the Gadarenes, a man from the tribe of God, was bound by a legion. This is what Jacob said. A troop, a legion held the man bound. A troop held the man bound. That man was from the descendant and Tell you the mystery of altars the science of patterns these things are real i've seen ministers who are honest who love god passionately who do everything to follow god but there are altars that are speaking against them there are altars that are saying how dare you cross the line a pastor that was in this ministry was just some devil all kinds of bad character i decided to see the mom when i disciplined the mother came the mother met me somewhere and i said mommy what is wrong with your son god has given him a platform here nobody is fighting him he's fighting himself fighting everybody the mother said hmm the father's people have caught up with him i said what he said that's how the father and the grandfather are they always fight their helpers. A word is a word was now people when they help them, night then they fight. I say, really, see now so papa be and that thing nine kill them. Now so that one father be and I evil all the uncle now waiting they kill them. This guy was a preaching machine, but the thing came for him. It's something we have to pray about tonight. You see, where after he has laid the foundation. 
Stone, what foundation are you running on? There are altars. Don't just look at your father's side. Look at your mother's side. Because mother's altars are stronger than father's altars. Of course. Mother's altar. This word is called mother earth. Not father earth. Your strongest connectivity is to your mom. By breastfeeding also is to your mom. Jesus went through shakings. Intended shakings in ministry. When he was preaching. And the only one person that could pause his service it was his mom they say your mother and your brothers have something to tell you your mother and your brethren because your mother controls your brethren wait wait wait, wait. is your mother your mother who told you your father is your and what she told you what you believed I wish I'm talking to somebody now. I don't know why there are some points I have, but I don't know why I have a strong urge for us to spend time tonight to shatter altars. Somebody will go to mountain. We stay 21, they come back. Things remain the same. Abba. When we serve a God who answers prayer, but there are altars that have been entered. Some of these altars were sealed with blood. Some of them were sealed with blood. A group of sisters came from Guinea Conakry. Guinea Conakry is an African nation. There were six beautiful medical doctor, banker, severe, not married. Six of them. And they came. I said they attended service and said they want to see me. They don't know what is happening. Great people come, want to marry them. Something will happen, they will leave. They got to a point, they were ready to sponsor the wedding. They said they, they, they wanted to marry people. I mean, in Africa, a man sees who wants to marry him and still run away. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. Uh, I, I will pay bridegroom price. I will handle wedding. Mm -mm, I'm not doing. And we are praying. Why are we are praying? I had the name Lawrence. I saw it's Lawrence. He says, My dad. I said, Put him on the phone. And they put the man on the phone. I said, Can I pray with you? He said, Yeah. He said, Dickin. Man said, Dickin, old man. And we started praying, praying. I stopped. I said, Sir, what happened so and so and so here? He said, He's a man of God. I'm an old man. I can't remember anything. I said, what happened? He said, I can't remember anything. And we continued praying. And I mentioned some names. He said, I can't. He said, wait, 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 wait. I, I know that name. I know that name. I said, what happened? He said, ah. It's a long story. But she was a useless woman. Tell me the story. He had a wife. And the wife had two daughters. He married another man that was giving birth, giving birth, and he began to maltreat the first wife that was giving birth to children. Beat her up, and this wife was backing the child. Beat her, kicked her, and pushed her at night. And the woman said, You did this to me. You know how we started. And the woman turned and said, You see, you are kicking me out of the house I built. You see this woman's children? None of them! We enter a man's house. I said, sir, that's where he's walking. The, uh, have you seen an old man crying like a child? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Children broke down. They are not even aware because they were small. You see, we don't understand the mystery. Sir, there are lands, eh? Sir, there are some churches that can never grow because the lands were lands of contentions. There are houses that were dedicated. The lands were... Oh, my God. In Benin, a Kenwan Road in Benin, somebody wanted to sell four flats for 5,000 naira. And the house, nobody was ready to buy. Because the house was a barrack. A 
around 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They are hearing voices. 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You are passing, you are hearing voices. People are marching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the man say, any anything you have anything just let let me just take something and the, the pastor sent some prayer band members to go and cast out that devil when they got there they say as they opened the door the fan came on the ac came on water was rushing everything was working all the prayer band turned and took off and they just opened door fan came on light came on shower came on everything was working light blink up blink up doors were they took up personalities we are living in the apartment pastor said if you came back so fast he said daddy this kind of demon is for general of us here this one is not prayer this kind of demon is for is for geo Barak. I can give you stories upon stories of what I have seen because of altars. We are about to roar. We are about to roar. We are about to roar. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't feel led to go to go further. I just feel led for us to take this prayer now. I, I don't feel led for us to continue teaching. I feel led for us to roar. We are about to roar. We are about to tell the Lord, you have my permission. Visit my father's house. Visit my mother's house. Disconnect me from evil pattern. Thank you for watching the video to this far. I have a book for you in the description and title. Get this book from Amazon or send a free donation to the number on the screen and I'll forward a soft copy to you wherever and find yourself. Always remember, readers never quit and waiters never win. Yes, you can.